This is my second of my four video series of cell activators coming up. Hi, my name is Susan King and I'm a full-time artist. And if this is your first visit to my channel, welcome. Today I will be making three different cell activators and this video will show you that there are other options out there um, so that you can create a beautiful bloom. So these are the colors that I'll be using in this demonstration, my four video series. This one here is um, Thalo Blue by Amsterdam. This one is Transparent Yellow Medium by Amsterdam. And this one is Primary Magenta by Amsterdam. They're all um, transparent paints. These are both my varnishes that I'll be uh, testing with. Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish and Color Pour Glossy Varnish. Joe Sonia can be found um, online on Amazon. I'm not really sure in, uh, where in the U.S. that you can get it other than Amazon. Um, I'm not really sure where else you can get it, but I'm pretty sure it's um, easy to get. Also, Color Pour Glossy Varnish is fairly easy to get. You, I got mine at Walmart in Canada. <clears throat> I'm sure that the U.S. can get it as well. I don't know if you can get this at, on Amazon. I didn't even look. But, uh, yeah, that's the two varnishes that I'll be using today or in my four vi four video series. The, um, that's for my pouring medium. The paint, the untinted paint that I'll be using in my pouring medium is Glidden Premium Accent Base Satin. I found this at um, Home Depot. And my pillow is Glidden Premium White Base Satin. Also at um, Home Depot. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to begin the next one, which is paint and flow troll. That's it. Um, I think it's about one part paint to six parts flow troll. I'm going to see how that is. And then we'll go from there. So I'm going to put one quarter teaspoon of of paint in here. Okay, that looks about right. I actually have never tried this this one. I've tried the Australian Floetrol. Just so you know, yeah, this is not the Australian Floetrol. This is just the North American Floetrol that we can all get very easily. I have not tried it just like this. I've tried it actually paint and maybe um, a few, maybe like three parts flow troll or four parts flow troll and then water but I found that never really worked very good so let's try this so that's one quarter teaspoon of the paint and now one and a half teaspoons of the flow troll so that's six to one you always have to make sure you shape your Floetrol very, very good because it um, separates the clumps. Plus I have this little, I have this nylon piece that I cut and placed over, okay, placed over the opening and then I screwed the cap on. So that strains the Floetrol before it goes into my paint and I don't get any clumps in my paint. And once this 
gets clogged up, I just cut a new piece and put it on. Works really well. Okay. That's one teaspoon. this to see how it is. Oops. And now one half a teaspoon. Pretty good. All right, let's get this right. Okay, this next one is just paint and um, North American Floetrol. Not the Aussie one, just the one that everybody can get in the US, Canada, I'm not sure where else. So, that was my gloves. <laughs> By the way, I don't even know if I mentioned this at the beginning. All of the um, recipes for all of these cell activators will be in the description below my video. So don't forget to check that if you want to use one of them. And I think when I did my mixing, I mentioned that, or I mentioned exactly what I used in the um, recipe so either check the description or go back to in the video Alrighty, let's go on this one. See, I don't know if I see a halo or not. A tiny bit. Okay. I don't know what happened there, this big huge cell in the middle. I better leave it alone. I wonder what happened there, unless that was an air bubble. I think I can spin it now. Okay. 
I don't think it's too bad. Oops, it's not too bad at all. I don't think I got all those white spots on anything else. And there's a lot of Floetrol in this CA. So, maybe... We'll see. Alright, <clears throat> the next one is... Well, it's the Paint and Flow Troll with Josanya mix in the pouring medium. Air bubble. Uh, air bubble. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of it depends on the blowing part too. If you don't do it good, it doesn't turn out good. You have to be very delicate when you're blowing out this way. Blowing down, you don't need to be too hard. Just blow so it moves out a bit, and then start blowing the edges. But you. Be, do it very gently and slowly and, and not do it hard. Wow, I got lots of cells here. So if you do it too hard, if you blow too hard, you're just going to blow right through to the pillow. And it'll take forever for your center to come back up. That's really pretty. So the reason I got the white marks is more than likely because I blew too hard in a couple of spots and brought the pillow from underneath through and it gave me some white spots. I don't know. I'm thinking that's what it is because these are, I don't have them in this one. I don't think it's ready already. Looks pretty good. This is just paint and float troll. So here I am mixing acrylic gesso dollar rowney white with water for the cell activator. This Cell activator was created by my sister Diane. She's dropping paint by Diane. Um, yeah, she she um, created this, so I thought I would try it. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna start with one to one, one part gesso to one part water. 
or I might not add one part totally at first of the water. I'll add it gradually. Okay, so it's a little bit more than a half a teaspoon. I bought this gesso from Walmart here in Canada. You can probably get it in the US or you can get it online. Amazon, I believe, sells it. I think there's a few other gessos that work too, but right now I can't think of the name. Um, PBO is one, PBO. Uh, I can't remember the other one. There was another one. So I'm just going to add probably, approximately half of that, half a teaspoon. I'm going to add any more because it's already dripping. I'm pretty sure this is hard to get <clears throat> to run in a stream. Um, I remember doing it before and it I could only get it to drip so I'm not adding any more water so it's about one half teaspoon of gesso to a quarter teaspoon of water I could probably add more gesso to it to make it a little bit thicker but I think I'm just going to leave it as is. It's only dripping, so it's hard to... And this is white type. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, no, this is just gesso. Sorry. This is just gesso. I did order... Um, I did order black gesso. And I still haven't received it, so I'm trying the white gesso instead okay this is the um, the gesso and water cell activator with my collar pour mix and because I'm using white cell activator now. I'm reversing the colors. So I have dark on top. I don't think I added enough paint on my last tests. So I'm going to add some more on this one. Good enough, I guess. It's thickened up a little bit overnight. I added a little more uh, varnish to these mixes, so hopefully.
<clears throat> Actually, not that much more, but... Okay, so... Just give my cell activator a stir. Right away, I'm seeing a halo. Try and center it a bit. There we go. Very hard to blow this <clears throat> mix, gesso and water. Doesn't want to move like um, other cell activators, but I am getting some cells. So, okay, I'm going to spin it now. Okay, that's all I'm gonna spin it. Otherwise, it'll get stretched out too much. Okay, I'll show you a close up. Got cells. Not too bad for just gesso and water. Okay, now the gesso and water with my Joe Sonia mixture. And there's another halo. Just gonna blow. Move it over here. Definitely works better with Joe Sonia. Got a larger, a larger area here though, I think. I don't know if it will. It's not gonna do anything, so I'm gonna leave it. It might shrink back. Looks pretty nice though. Looks really nice. It's definitely the Joe Sonia. Whoops. Varnish is way better. And the um, blue color is coming through in the middle. It's blending with the white cell activator. Looks really nice. Sink underneath. 
That's really pretty. Um, don't think I'm gonna spin after this. That's it. Very pretty. Very nice. Very, very nice. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I added more paint too. So the colors are a little bit more brilliant. <laughs> okay, I am doing gesso, white gesso, Dalla Rowney, with uh, titanium white Amsterdam paint. Whoops. And I'll have to add water to that to make it um, thinner. So I'm going to start with a quarter teaspoon of gesso. It's about right. And then half a teaspoon of the white paint. Oops. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm just going to mix those two up. It's pretty thick. So now I'm just going to add water bit by bit until I get the consistency I want. Um, I'm going to fill a quarter teaspoon. about half in. It's still pretty thick. Yeah, so the rest in. So what did I do? It's still pretty thick. So, oops, another quarter teaspoon, but I'm only going to add a half. So I'm going to finish adding that. So that's actually half a teaspoon so far of water. It's still maybe a thick, a little bit thick. So I'm adding another couple of drops of water. One, two. And it looks just about right. It's not running like 
in a stream, but it's uh, dripping. And that's that's basically what happens with the gesso. It's hard to get a stream running, but this is this is not bad. It's not too bad. Okay, I'm using paint, gesso, and water cell activator. White titanium. And I'm using my, this is my color pour varnish mix. Some air bubbles here. And there's my little thingy. Definite halo. I need another breath here. All right. I scraped it in there. I scraped the straw in there. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, I think it's ready. Oops, a little bit off. All right, I'm gonna stop spinning. Looks, there's some interesting things going on. More lacing than cells. A few cells right here. I don't know, had a bit of a hard time blowing, so. Alrighty. Okay, this is the same paint, gesso, water, cell activator with my Josanya mix. That halo.
up a little bit here in my blowing. Definitely cool. Oops. I seen an air bubble or not. I think I did. Alright, All right, I'm not going to spin any farther. Bring you down for a close-up. That's pretty cool looking though. Lots of lacing. Though I did hear that you get more lacing with white cell activator than black. In black you get more um, cells. 